Look at this. Look at that for a selection. I, I had to get it into this video. Um, we're still here in Kelly's of Boris. This is part two. There's going to be part three. There's some amount of gear here. But I said I had to show you here again for those of you. For those of you who missed part one, it's in the comments below. Um, I will pin it there and the first two comments. Um, my own stuff, I put in part one and part two, and there will be a part three. Look at this. These are all here. We went through them in the last video. Um, the camera has a bit of a shake. We were in Lama the other day, and um, actually yesterday we flew back in last night. I dropped my Osmo over in Lama and broke it, so we must invest in a new Osmo. So my. Yeah. I have to uh, hold it as steady as I can for you. All right, we're going to turn the camera. We're here, but Kelly's have an open day. The 8th, 9th, and the 10th of February, 2024. Get up here. They're going to have discounts. They're going to have everything. They're going to have serious amount of stuff here. And um, yeah, let's turn the camera. We give a quick walk through the second-hand tractors, and we're going to go up the yard into the second-hand kind of... Um, they have wagons, they have second-hand tethers, they have all that kind of stuff. And in the third video, we'll go down the yard and look at their JCB load and shovels and uh, the new class tractors and that kind of stuff. All right, guys, that's a serious thumbnail. That's a thumbnail and a half, isn't it? All right, well, I promise you, I'll look at the, the second-hand tractors again. It, we went, we don't, we're not going to go through them. In that much detail because I we done them already in the first video and like I said they'll be in the comments look at that I didn't look at them because I don't think anyone has too much interest in um, second-hand uh, combine headers well okay I'm sorry I don't but if you are after a combine header um, look Kelly's have a serious setup um, they have a new Holland combine down the yard to match that okay look at this lads they have beautiful cattle wagon I was looking at this, one, these, this while ago actually um, you can the wheels are on hydraulics. You can drop the drop it down nearly down to the ground, so there's no ramp for the the cattle to get up in. Um, Smith's trailer, beautiful trailer, big big strong trailer. Um, I was looking at one of these trailers actually. The sun is probably blinding, you know, over in Lama in the UK yesterday. She's kind of got the curved body. This is a serious dump trailer, like T seventy T O seven one HP, whatever that means. Brand new. Um, Class mowers, brand new class rakes, brand new class tethers. Look at this, 50 foot rake, Celtic bale chaser, is she a 10 or is she a 12? I said she's a 10. These are a serious machine. I have another video there um, of the, the Celtic bale chaser in action. Um, I would actually say, um, this was in my very meagre opinion, that if you have um, a Celtic bale chaser and if you are... It doesn't matter, Celtic or, or whatever bale chest you have. Um, if you are drawn and you can draw, if your draw is no more than 15 minutes, if you can draw, we say, three loads in the hour, they're thereabouts. There's no way um, a 14 or an 18 um, bale trailer would keep up with them. These are, I had experience with these. We had two fusions going. There was two fusions. There was two... There's some for the throwing snowballs at me. Um, there were two fusions. There was two uh, Celtic bale chasers. And the man in the yard, he was under pressure keeping the yard clean, keeping the yard clear. And okay, I'll have a fellow, oh, you man, the yard wasn't much good. The man in the yard had about 10, 12 years' experience stacking bales. But we were drawing them so fast into the yard. He, like, he had 20, 20, 40, 60, 80. He probably had about. 10, 10, 20, 40, 60, 80. He had about 160 bales an hour. And he was... No, okay, we did get a head start of maybe half an hour or maybe 80 bales. But he actually never cleared the yard until the the whole job was absolutely over and done with and finished. So I would highly recommend to anyone. Uh, okay, before you give out to me, these are the, the class... Um, Heathers, walking down the yard. The sun is in our way, so we have to keep the camera turned away from the sun. There's some more of the headers here. There's John Deere headers, there's class headers, there's um, New Holland headers, there's every kind of a header there. So if you want a header for your, your combine, call to Kelly Zabaras. 
Um, we were looking at that JCB in the first video as well. We kind of walked past it. Um, there's no number on it that I can see. We have she Cabelco, a 210. Nice clean machine again with the JCB. And we have, look at this. Look at this first selection of second-hand tractors. All in the first video, guys. So go in and watch the first video. 7840, TVT 155, uh, two Valtras. There's another uh, Valtra behind it. There's a Deitz. There's a Massey Ferguson. I can't remember. There's a, a couple of more New Hollands. Um, here, look at this for a selection of, of very, very good, very, very good condition class tractors. Absolutely fantastic stuff altogether. Down the yard below here, see it? We have Joskins. Oh, no, sorry, not Joskins. Red Rock dribble bars. Didn't know Red Rock made dribble bars, but there you go. Um, these yokes, lads. Um, abs <laughs> I was looking at one of these earlier on this morning here, well, an hour ago. Um, they're Hitch. IDRO Hydromech, don't even know whether they're made or nothing. But isn't these these are neat yoke. Look at the okay, you have a choice on wheels, it's kind of skid steer or on tracks, I presume same thing as skid steer. You have a fox, you have a bucket, you have a four and one bucket. She lifts up, she's a grab. The whole lot. And this was the bit that really kind of caught my eye and impressed me. A back actor. There's a back actor on him. And you have your jacks, you have the whole lot. Like, there'd be fellas there buying, buying second-hand diggers. Go behind this so the sun won't be blind away. There's fellas there buying second-hand diggers and second-hand stuff. Lads wouldn't just do all the digging you want. And she's a deep dig as well. Do you think she'll, she'll slide out? She will, I think, yeah, absolutely. She'll, she'll, there's an extendable boom on it as well, so she'll slide away out. Right, guys, that's five minutes at this yard. We're going to go across the road and look at some of the second-hand equipment across the road. All right, guys, anyone looking for a second-hand rake? We have a lily, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least ten class rakes. So if you're looking for a rake, and we also have a coon, nice little small coon, not too sure what is she. She's a 7301, and we have a couple of, what's that? Kind of a chisel plow. We have a grass tether. We have a Caneverland, a serious ball of a Caneverland power harrow. We have um, a class maze header. We have, is she a lily, I'd say. And we have a tanko wrapper. We have, look at this, look. A horse, H-O-R-S-C-H, -S cedars. Look at that for a line of stuff. That's Kelly's of all this. Look, a couple of uh, rear discharge spreaders. So we've got a couple of massive plows. Class more. Uh, John Deere butterfly mowers. Um, don't know what we'll have to go up to them. Right, we're going to make this fast, lads. We're going to walk fast. Like I said already, my apologies for the shake in the camera because my Osmo got dropped and got broken in Lama. My own fault. Um, and the Amazon... <coughs> um, Power harrow and cedar. If I, for those of you who don't know, this is the power harrow. This these spin around in a circle. They just make absolute dust flower out of the ground. And uh, this is full of seed, a fertilizer, and it blows it down the pipes and straight out into the ground. And it's kind of a well, not a one pass system, but it's a very good system. This is a, a similar enough system. Um, just you have this is kind of a one pass system. You have the the we'll say the the spring tine harrows here on the front. You have the discs to break it up, and you have more discs in the back, and you have the flattening rollers again. The, and you have the look. It's there. It's there for you. Um, that's a Verostat. We have another Caneverland here. Again, same thing as we had already. Um, is this? Um, I can't think of what they're called. The blue ones. Go on. Can you say it before I can? I know what they are. Are they Germans? I forget. We'll see it up the yard. There's another one up the yard. I walked by it a while ago. They're, they're not a ranch. Oh, that's a babe. B A uh, B E babe. I thought there was something else to be honest. A babe, Paul Harrow. Am I right in saying that? I don't know. And A R A C C O R in a cord. Um, cedar on top. Uh, a coon, Paul Harrow, and a cedar on top again. Another coon. And we have. Is this an Amazon? An Amazon power harrow again and cedar on top. Um, over here we have three 
a row crop, a row crop. We have three whole crop heathers, uh, three direct disc 520, uh, three class ones. Um, this, I don't know what this is, to be honest, I really actually don't. Oh, it's, a, it's a road sweeper. Um, we have a plow, um, E-L-E-K-T, electro system, um, fertilizer spreaders, same thing. Um, this one is on, on wheels, obviously, pulled by the drawbar, uh, maybe less compaction, less weight in the back of the tractor, the whole lot. Maybe you could put a bigger fertilizer spreader on a smaller tractor. As for this one, you have to have a fairly sizable tractor to, to carry it around in the first place. You could probably pull that with the half half the size of the tractor. Um, Second hand shear grabs, second hand class Rotor 800 um, uh, tethers. We have um, a lovely Cambridge roller, second hand um, agitators. This is a, a fair size of a, a disc harrow for maybe the tillage boys out there. Another Cambridge roller, and um, are they coons? I'd say they're coons, they're both coons. I'd say the top one is a coon anyway. Goon, look at that, lads. lads. Wouldn't they make fair shite of the, the whole thing? Um, John Deere 1365, my opinion, no one else's, the John Deere 65 mower was without doubt one of the best mowers that was ever built in kind of the late 80s, early 90s. I cut a lot of silage with one of them, but it had the gearbox here. That's on the drawbars, there's no gearbox. When the gearbox was there, you could completely maybe turn around and complete circles inside in the corner we have a H-O-R-S horse the same as the the big seed machines below which are going to be in the next video a horse um, I suppose a grain chaser with another one in the shed below which is in the first video we have an 18 foot Smith's silage trailer was that yours it's kind of a different color let me know who you who you t think it was or who it might have been um, red rock an 18 foot 14 ton uh, silage trailer again anyone that knows this is the red rock well it did not this one but i got badly badly stuck one time with a red rock and a valtra below and uh, one of the valtras in the other video as well um but these were a heavy trailer but look look at it that's probably in 2000 in 2003 or 4 maybe and she's still still absolutely perfect condition it's it's a lovely trailer. It's there for you. We have a Mark Hall. Never heard of Mark Hall before. Um, before today, I don't think I did anyway. A Mark Hall machinery. Um, it, this is actually a lovely looking trailer. I I I I really don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. I was looking at the thing. I think she's two thousand and twenty. Um, look at the big so, so flotation tires under it. Automatic up and over back door. Um. Look, she doesn't have a whole pile done. There's about a foot of water inside in the, the floor of it. But, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. It's there for you. She's, I must actually look up that Mark Hall. 077, so I presume it's either a Northern Ireland or a UK number. Um, Ruskin, Ruskin tank. Um, 2,000 gallon tank. It's a nice straight little tank for someone. There we have... Uh, a West, is it a Western? I can't see the name. Western um, rear discharge mux spreader again. Um, grand machine, lovely machine for the right person. Um, cattle trailers, these are a nice cattle trailer. Um, who's flexi quick? I can't, I don't know. There's no manufacturer's name on it. Um, we Limkin, that's the name I was thinking below when we were looking at the power harrows, but they weren't Limkins. These were Limkin. Limkin make an absolutely serious um, disc harrow. Like I was looking at one in, in the show on Mill Street there. It's, <laughs> I don't even know what it lifted. This thing is, these are not going to break. Like Limkin are a serious, serious operator as well. Um, again, uh, she uh, um, a fertilizer spreader, or you could have it as a lime spreader, I presume. So she's she's got this in the back. I know very few fellas. I only know of maybe about three or four fellas that actually have them as um, Alfie Burn, agricultural contractor. Um, I know only a couple of fellas that actually have them as a uh, lime spreaders, but there's a couple of fellas that have them as a fertilizer spreaders as well. So, yeah, let's go on to the next.
item in the list. Again, over and plows. John Brown Limited, supplied by John Brown. Over and plow. I had a four for an over and plow one time. Um, a reversible plow. Sold it. Should never have sold it. Um, was always sorry I sold it. But look, that's the way it absolutely goes over and again. Our series company around with a long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boards. Seven board reversible. Um, I don't think my Belarus will be pulling that anytime soon. Joskins again. Kelly Zaboris here on the front of it. A tornado. That's a big spreader. Again, a rear discharge spreader. There for you. A Roland again. Rear discharge again. The only thing I don't like about them is the there's narrow narrow enough wheels but of course if you have something this big your fields are obviously in fairly good condition again lincoln um kind of one pass um cedar um are you going sitting corn you're going sitting barley this year maybe maybe this is a, a machine for you the sun has gone down so we're going to walk down along the side here now a couple of roland horse stuff here alongside me i don't know I'm just going to walk past them. You can be looking at them. A Verostad Cedar. These are all here for you, lads. These are all here in Kelly's and Boris. The 8th, the 9th and the 10th of February 2024. We're having an open day. Or we are having an open day. They're having an open day. So all this stuff is here for you. Um, up the yard again. What did we say that? What did I say that, um, oh, she's a set of butterflies as well. She's a set of doubles. Is she, I'm not too sure exactly what brand she is. Do you know what? I know it, but I don't know it. Oh, she's a Pottinger. A Pottinger set of doubles. A John Deere set of doubles. Big plow. Look, I'm moving the plow. Class. Rotary disc, 3,100. 3, uh, John Deere for more. There for you. Hi, lads. These are going to be long videos. And I'm sorry about the camera shaking, right? Lily Rake, 725 CD Classic. Look at all this, lads. Look at all the, the class rakes. I've never seen anything or as many class rakes in any one place in my life. These are all here for you. If you're looking for a class rake, there has to be, there has to be a class rake here for you. I have no doubt about it. If you're looking for a class rake, there just has to be. Look at them, look at them. A uh, liner two nine hundred, a liner two nine hundred, a liner two nine hundred, a liner three one hundred. Oh, she slides in and out. Look at the difference. She's, well, they all slide a bit. But. I know, they're going to move in the big Lincoln plow over, or the big, not the Lincoln plow, they're going to move in the big over and plow. Look at this, oh we have a crone rake, oh, crone 50 foot. Are you in the market for a crone 50 foot rake? Crone, swarder, 1400 plus. What actually happens here, for those of you that don't know, and I don't know, I actually never saw one of them, but I did once in action. Um, the front rake, just all falls down and the back rake falls out down and forward so I will say this rake here the front one is going to be there and then the back one is going to be kind of there so she'll rake I think they'll rake 50 feet at the time okay guys here we go again hard disk sprayer c-o-m-m-a-n-d our commander four 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 zero zero a commander again same thing a commander three two three thousand two hundred a Navigator 3000. These are all hardy sprayers. These are all big trailed machines. And as I don't think there's any fella in Kerry going to have um, two or three of these in his backyard. And um, again, we have, don't know what make that is, a Fox B A R G Bargum. And we have a B E R T H O U D, Berthoud, two of them over there. And there's something else behind them, I leave them alone. And yeah. That, lads, what a selection of stuff. Oh my God, lads, this is, this is just, I, like, I'm, this is me. This is me. I'm happy now as a pig in, yeah, 
So, all right, guys, there are the rakes. There for you, this is video two. We're gonna go once more. There'll be another video. But the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th of February, 2024, Kelly's of Boris, get here. Check out their open day. Check out their Facebook page. They have an unbelievable amount of stuff. And like I said, they're, they're Valtra dealers inside in Kilkenny. They're class. There's a heap of JCBs in the next video. There's a few after second-hand little JCB load and shovel. They're here, they're in the next video, so make sure you give a like, give a subscribe, and hit that little bell, and you'll be notified of my upcoming videos, all right? What more can I say?